Hi, I'm Lou. Hi, John. And this video is called Getting the Best Out of This Program. Yeah. Why are we doing it? We're doing it because we well understand that when you arrive at this site, you are focused on one thing and one thing only, mm -hmm. is how can I stop my partner from drinking? Yeah. Um, that is really understandable. And so if you're behaving true to type, you will be hunting through the website, finding oh. anything that you can find that will Absolutely. help them change. Absolutely. Which we totally yeah. understand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, you came for the end product. You, you didn't did. come for the, oh, I, I, I really think this but at the beginning is really interesting. You know, you came for the end product. Yeah, which, which we you, totally get. Yeah. yeah. So, but... I've spent years and years and years going round and round in circles mm -hmm. because there were basic things I didn't understand. I also, my whole life was absolutely obsessed with getting my drinker to stop their behaviour mm -hmm. and everything else kind of paled into significance. Sure. And so I was hyper locked upon my drinker. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and that's the first thing we're going to ask you to do is to stop that yes. and remember you're important and to take time, mm -hmm. to take stop. Yeah. to build up energy mm -hmm. and to begin to approach this again with a real knowledge about what works and more importantly what doesn't work yes and 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 so you will be being asked at the beginning to take your focus off your drinker and put that focus on you again because mm. you are really important that might not seem sort of natural it might not seem sort of intuitive you know to uh, take your focus off the drinker because you know if you take the focus off the drinker then they might do something that you don't want them to do and but they're already doing something that you don't want them to do unfortunately so start to do things that are effective and that's what we tell you in the program mm -hmm. but there's not an awful lot of space for that unless you stop doing the things that are not effective then it gives you some space to start and do things that are effective. Psychologically too, it will have an effect on your drinker mm -hmm. um, because he will know or she will know that you are constantly trying to take away the one thing that they use as a major cop mm -hmm. coping mechanism. So they will be like someone in a fortress on the battle net, mm -hmm. sort of constantly on the defensive to get you to back off. Now, if you back off, that will really throw them. So... <laughs> You're, you're so, so you do it just to be sneaky, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So S sneak up and they will calm mm, down mm. and stop being in yeah. the defensive mode whilst you regroup and figure out how to do this well. But it's also about building your strength as well, yeah. you know, um, because at, at the moment you know you're in a position of weakness, yeah, um, because you're trying to get somebody to do something that they don't want to do, which is really affecting you, you know. Um, so you build up to it. It's a process. Yeah. I think also understand that approaching a drink, uh, a drinker, in, in terms of a loving relationship is counterintuitive to any mm. other way that mm. works. And in any other area of your life, yeah. if you love that your drinker and they love you, if you say you're hurting, if you say things don't work for you, mm -hmm. they love you, they will consciously amend their behaviour mm -hmm. and try and move towards you. Yeah. The very opposite seems to happen with drinking. And to, you really need to get that, that what works in a loving relationship in mm -hmm. other arenas really does not translate into yeah. this arena. And this is a key issue that we want you to get hold of yeah. before you start again. Yeah, There's a step-by-step -step guide in yeah. Bottled Up. And it's in a particular order, and it's in that particular order for a particular reason. Each one builds on the one before. Yeah. And we know this through experience, we know it through the research, that this is the order that these things should go in. Mm. If you buy, but you need to use it. Mm. You know, if you bought a, a gym membership, uh, that gym membership is not going to get you fit unless you actually go to the gym and start to use the equipment. And you need to use the equipment in a particular order. You can't go and just pick up the biggest weight there is and lift it, you know, well, maybe you can, maybe you're really strong. But most people start with smaller weights and build up and build up and build up and build up. Mm -hmm. Or they start, you know, uh, if they're doing aerobic exercise, they start sort of slow and then again build up. Mm -hmm. It's the same with bottled up. We take you through a program in a particular order, but you need to do it. Mm. You know, you can't go straight from sort of, you know, the, the first step right through to the, the intervention. 
Mm. It just won't work. But do take comfort because John will tell you the thing I've been saying over and over again when we were putting this together is they've come tired. They'll be absolutely exhausted. Yes. And we are fully aware of that. So it's why we've tried to take you one step at a time, give you plenty of time to assimilate. It, it's not a PhD. It is a set step of really simple yeah. strategies with simple acronyms um, so that you yeah. can do it really easily. Yeah, and then the, 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 it's really the steps are in two um, parts, really. And the first one's all about looking after yourself. Mm. It's about, you know, ministering to you. Therefore, you know, to create, uh, to uh, build the strength so that in the second part, you actually, you're coming from a position of strength, a position of information. Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, the other thing is, uh, very sadly, um, this is a, a re relaunch, and we've uh, kind of updated the website uh, yeah. quite considerably. Yeah. Um, and we've been very distressed uh, because there's been a lot of snagging. This is mm -hmm. nothing to do with us. This is to do with the people that put it together. Yeah. It's a very yeah. complex website. It, um, it's hmm. because it, it's not just informational. It's therapeutic. Um, and and therefore its complexity sometimes is quite hard to, to sort out. So um, if you're having snagging problems, please get onto us straight away. We yeah. get onto the people that build it straight away um, because we did the content, but they kind of uh, have done the, uh, what's it called, a infrastructure? Uh, yeah, they right built the yeah. infrastructure. I, I'm afraid this is the sort of website equivalent of the pre-flight information, you know, there'll be exits here and there, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing with the website. It, you know, things might happen that you don't expect to happen. We hope we've got most of the snagging sorted out now. But if there is, don't panic. Get in touch with us. We'll get it fixed. Yeah. Um, and we know we've gone on, on about this uh, a little bit, but um, do use the forum. Um, the forum, I mean, we, we share what we can, but one of the most touching things about the forum is, yeah. is uh, watching someone from Australia sharing something to someone in Canada. Um, you've all got very different experiences and yeah. um, you feel so alone when you're with a drinker. You don't talk to many people mm -hmm. about it. It's very isolating. Um, and we want you to feel as if we're with you and on that journey with you. But to hear somebody articulate something yeah. that is just exactly what you're going through, you suddenly feel as if people understand you, as if they get your journey. And it is enormously therapeutically helpful. Yeah, one of the things you probably feel is that very alone. You're the only one who's ever experienced this. Yeah. But you're not. No. You're not. Far from it. Mm. And the other thing is that we do not have the monopoly in good ideas. Yeah. You know, sometimes the things you see in the forum, you think, wow, yeah, I wish I'd thought of that, you know. Yeah. So, We're very you know, touched and moved by yeah. what we see. But the other thing, of course, is it gives you an opportunity to actually get stuff out, you know. Mm. Yeah, use it. Yeah. Use it. It's there. I mean, we say don't argue with the drunk. We know that sometimes the vexation that is caused is mm. quite considerable. We do ask you to be respectful on the forum. Um, if you're going to vent, say so. Just say, I just need to vent because I'm so angry. Yeah. Um, so that, you know, that, that people know. We don't want it to be a place where people just get really bitter because um, that's not particularly helpful for you. No. But we do want to be a place where you can just say, I just want you to say how angry and vexed yeah, I am because absolutely. of such and such. Um, um, and as long as you kind of say what's going on, then we'd much rather you got it out here than mm. got it out over your drinker and then kind of jack the whole thing up another flipping notch. So sure, yeah. um, so use it. But also please share your triumphs as well because that's really encouraging and as well. Tips. Yeah. tips. Tips. Tips are good. Old tips, yes, yeah. really helpful. Yeah. yeah, they really help each other, you know. Yeah. What works for me, what doesn't work for me, you know. Share these things. These and make are, it a great. safe space too. Uh, don't, you know, be, yeah. make sure that whatever you share is going to be of use and value to someone yeah. else. Yeah. Um, because we don't want you to start judging each other. Yeah. We would probably kind of step in and maybe step, you ask you to step back from a, yeah. a, a particular thread if it's not very helpful. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. we want to yeah. do that. Yeah. Um, finally, um, use the intervention again, not too early. Don't use your trump card no. until it's the right time to use it. And we have given you the thing we know you need most and want the most is there's a fully interactive website for your drinker mm -hmm. that for 10 years it's been getting people sober. We know that it works. And so mm -hmm. the thing you most need for them is available. It is just important that you actually put that trump down yep. card down uh, at an optimum time rather than just keep trying to nag them to get there, which really doesn't help at all. 
No. You know, so do yourself not. a favour yeah. and lead them. You know, what does it say? You can take a horse to water, you can't make it drink, but you can gallop it and make it thirsty. You yep. know, so um, try and apply the program um, mm. because it's psychologically thought out as well. Um, because our aim is to get them sober yeah. for you. We get all of that, uh, and that's something we want for you very much indeed. But of course, none of this works unless you come and log in, unless you watch some of the videos, unless you actually go through the program. Mm. You know, that's the first and most important thing. Mm. Come and go through the program. And we do ask um, you to watch the video on the chain of care. Um, I'm, I'm sending out an email in a minute because we've completely changed the way we've done the website. Um, and we've freely and happily given this away, but we would ask you just to check out yeah. what we say there, because you may want to participate with the, uh, with this particular scheme. Um, so yeah. we just ask you to check that out and just you know honour that. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so I think that's about it. For anything else you want to say? Uh, there are plenty of things I would like to say, <laughs> but we'll say that we'll say them in other videos. Yeah, okay. I think that's enough for it at the moment. Yeah, just remember, we do not want you to feel alone. We want you to no. know that on no. this journey, no. that now people are with you, alongside you, yeah. and supporting you. Yeah. If you've got something that you really want us to talk about, you know, something that you really want us to discuss, um, any topic, you know, just put it on on the forum, yeah. you know, and. Uh, We'll try and do that. Oh, one other thing I think would be worth saying, mm. um, that I have a, my own private practice, so I'm usually fairly busy uh, with uh, clients, but John does his have his own online counselling um, practice yep. for people, and uh, sometimes just having a really personal one-to-one, -one, I mean, he does charge for that, he's a therapist, uh, but yeah. being able to talk to him one-to-one, -one, um, do avail yourself of that. Yeah. Um, people have been really helped by working with him personally, face to face. Mm. Um, so that's available as well to add to, to the free resource if you want that. Okay. Lovely to talk to you. Thank you for listening. Yeah. Bye bye. Okay. Bye.